So hi there, folks. We're now in our next video in circles or about circles um, in this playlist um, in geometry. So in this video, we're going to talk about um, congruent arcs. We're in this uh, continuation video about about the our arcs. So we're going to have a theorem at the end of this. Now, um, consider the following definition. Okay. So we have two arcs are said to be two arcs are said to be congruent if number one. Okay, first condition, if they belong to the same circle or two congruent circles. Circles, sorry. My English is a bit bad. Okay, so this is circles. And um, number two, they have the same measure. So again, two arcs are said to be congruent if they belong to the same circle or two congruent circles. So the two circles must be congruent or it, it must be the same circle and letter b the second condition they have the same measure so take a look at this circles here down below we present to you circle p circle q and circle r so we will refer to them here as the three circles given okay so refer to circle p circle q and circle r below where the first two circles are congruent wherein the two circles here are exactly the same but r has a different radius that is to say, when you say um, two circles are congruent, the radius, their radius are there, are equal. Where in circle R, the radius is different from circle P and circle Q. So we say that since circle P and circle Q are said to be congruent, the minor arcs um, AB, minor arcs AB, this one, this minor arc here, um, this minor arc here, uh, minor arc uh, CD, this one, and minor arc EF, oh, I think I forgot. This should be, um, should have a measure. It's measure actually, uh, this, uh, this is um, by vertical angles theorem. So this is equal to uh, 110 degrees. Okay, so carry on. Okay, so um, again, um, the measures of the minor arcs AB, CD, and EF, this is AB, this is CD, this is EF, all have the measure of 110. So therefore, since they are the circles are congruent and the measures of the minor arcs are equal, then they are all congruent. Then they are all congruent. So the arcs are all congruent. So this is 110. This is 110. This is also 110. The circles are congruent, so therefore the, the arcs are all congruent. Now notice that in circle R, we have an arc GH where it measures 110 degrees. Though the measures are equal, but the circles are not congruent, so therefore the arc GH is not congruent with arcs um, A, B, C, D, and E, F. So it is not congruent to the three preceding arcs since it belongs to circle R, which has, this, the, which has a different radius so which is a big no-no okay again um for arcs to be equal the circles must be congruent and the measures should be the same so those are the two the two conditions now from that example we now present theorem 2.1 so theorem 2.1 talks about the congruence of the arcs so let's read it here so we have theorem 2.1 it states that in the same circle Okay. Again, in the same circle or two congruent circles, two arcs are said to be congruent. Okay, two arcs are said to be congruent if and only if their central angles are the same. Okay, so that's our first theorem um, in this uh, course. Again, in the same circle, example, in the same circle or two congruent circles, the, the arcs, the two arcs are congruent if and only if they have their central angles are the same. That is, uh, since the, the measure of the central angle is equal to the measure of the arc, since the arcs are are equivalent or equal, therefore, and also they are in two congruent circles, therefore the two arcs are congruent, are said to be congruent. Okay, so that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that you would like and subscribe to my channel. So thank you very much.